a really interesting subject that came up the other day when I was talking to a client of mine was around the issue of candidates uh, almost claiming to be perfect in an interview. Now what, what he meant about that was he had interviewed a, a female candidate of mine and probably with a desire to be very, very positive and very bullish about what she could bring to the role and to the organization, she sort of tipped over into a world where she was really claiming to be kind of ideal and perfect on just about every single topic that came up. And, and where this ended up was creating a situation where for the employer, for the hiring manager, from his point of view, he found it increasingly difficult to really believe that she could be this great on everything. So then you start thinking, well, okay, if she's not being completely honest about something, or at least there's a supposition that she's not being honest, it may not even be true, the risk, of course, is that, well, maybe this person is overstating their ability on every single area of discussion. So he used quite an interesting phrase at the end of the interview, uh, sorry, at the end of the interview feedback session to me. Uh, he said, it was interesting because I didn't want her to be perfect. I wanted her to be very, very good. Now, what he meant by that was he was perfectly happy for her to acknowledge that there may be one or two areas of weakness, um, one or two areas of where she would need a bit of guidance or a bit of work, or even things that had happened in her past, past career where she would look back and go, you know what, with hindsight, I may have done it a bit differently or I may have handled it in this way. So he was very open to her being, if you like, nine out of 10 with, a, with, a, with room to become a 10 once she got there um, because she was sort of coming across as someone who was really claiming to be 10 out of 10 right now it made it harder and harder for him to really believe in her. So it got me thinking that it is one of those quite interesting areas where on the one hand, we want to be obviously very positive. We want to push our, push our, you know, sorry, sorry, put our best foot forward, be very confident about why we'll be an asset to the company when we're interviewing. But there is obviously scope for just acknowledging those one or two areas where maybe we can improve or we need a bit of guidance or we need a bit of help. Um, it seems to be a more human connection that you then establish. So um, yeah, have a think about that. It's, it, be very good, but maybe don't be perfect, perhaps is the, uh, the takeout from that one. Okay, good luck.